Meat air. Meat air. Well, what is it? Weird. And you're going to review it? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let us know. All right, brother. Have a good one. Backseat Johnny is going to go review Meat Air. And he's on his way to a Texas roadhouse. Hey, hello, everybody. How's it going? It's Mikey Mechanic. Not going to do a food review on my break today. I'm... Instead, we're going to have a little talk. Something I want to tell you about. A lot of the guys tease me. They say, hey, Mikey, what's up with this air eating? I heard you're a vegetarian. Well, I am a vegetarian. And air eating don't count. I'll explain air eating to you. The guys, they tease me all the time about it. But every year it comes up to the vegetarian council and every year it gets shut down. Air eating don't count. What I'm going to do after I get off work today, I'm going to take my brown paper bag. No other way, you know. I'm going to take the brown paper bag lunch. On the way home, I'm going to pull into a parking lot of a steakhouse. I'm going to slowly roll my window down. And I'm going to eat my tofu dog and my salad while I smell in the meat air. I know what you're saying, eh, Mikey? Smelling in that meat air. Aren't you vegetarian? Like I said, I am a vegetarian. And smelling meat air, it don't count. The vegans won't do it, but the vegans are mean. They're bullies. There's a lot of things vegans won't do. And there's a lot of things vegans will do. I don't want to get into it. Before I go, I do want to show you. I got on my Carl Can I jeans today. You know I love my name brand, even when I'm working. This jacket, it's Nautica. That's right, it's Nautica. Well, my shift's almost done, and I'm off to go meet, eat some meat air. And I'm here to tell you, you don't believe me? You go to any steakhouse USA from the east to the west, you're going to find a parking lot filled with vegetarians with their windows rolled down eating tofu dogs and salads. If your car starts acting funny, put some oil in it. Hey everybody, Carl here. I was sitting here thinking. I think these challenges are kind of getting out of hand. I saw they had this talk, clock, talk, whatever it is. Had some challenge on there where it was called the Smelly Bell Challenge. Smelly Bell Challenge. And I guess what the kids do is that big old bell at the top of the Taco Bell restaurant. I guess the whole goal is the kids, they steal the bell. They detach it from the roof. They drive it home. I mean, for one, the bell's huge. What do you do? Put that thing on uh, the roof of your car, drive it home? Go to the back of a truck, I guess. Tarp it. Put a tarp over it so people don't see it. You get the bell home. Now, let's do a little backstory on the bell. Apparently, the bell, from all the cooking bell at the top of the restaurant collects all that bean steam, meat air, all up in that bell. And then what the kids do, they steal the bell, they flip the bell around, and I guess they got 24 hours to take bags of chips and to clean the bell. It's, it's like, it's a dip. Apparently the bell over time creates a dip from the bean steam and the meat air. Uh, I don't know. I don't get it. I'd never do it. I mean, what we used to do, 
We'd just go buy some bean dip and some chips. There was no challenge. Now they all want to challenge each other. I don't get it. Well, what I got here today is it's Pompeii. It's an IPA. It's out of Iowa by Toppling Goliath Brewing Company. I don't mind an IPA, so I'm excited. Kind of fruity, I like that. A little bit of a pineapple. Okay, that's not bad. So for this Pompeii, I'm gonna go three out of five tickets. Careful now, that's hitting red. That's hitting red now. Just light on the brakes. Backseat Johnny, and I'm on my way to do a review. This isn't going to be a normal review. This is based on a recommendation from my friend Mikey. It's a review of Meat Air. Yeah, Meat Air. Mikey says you got to try it. Basically, you pull up at a steakhouse, you roll your window down, you have a lettuce, tofu dog, something like that, and you breathe in the meat air, and it's like it's infusing the flavor into the salad. He said it's the big, big hit thing for vegetarians to do right now. Now my, my cousin Carl, on the other hand, says don't waste your time. It's just the latest trendy vegan thing. Or actually, forgive me, the vegans are against it. From what I understand. Mikey, Mikey, careful now. Mikey, who's vegetarian, says the vegans don't approve of eating meat air. And apparently it was brought up to the vegetarian council and they said meat air doesn't count. So here we are pulling up into a Texas roadhouse. Look like a car of vegetarians right over there. Alright. He said just Gently roll the window down and I mean I smell it. I don't think I'm tasting much. I didn't bring a tofu dog and I didn't bring a salad. So I don't know if that's gonna make a big difference or not. It's that car full of vegetarians. Every one of them got a tofu dog in their hand. Everyone's got a tofu dog in their hand. Just huffing away at meat air. I'm not getting anything out of it. I don't care for it. Zero out of five back seats. I want to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed the show. And always remember, treat others how you would like to be treated. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.